Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to How to Handle Difficult People. We have talked about the differences in people and the importance of being able to accommodate to them. And in order to discuss the differences in people, we looked at two forms of behavior that everyone demonstrates to one degree or another. And we call those behaviors directive behavior and affiliative behavior. Directive behavior, if it is high, is when we have a strong need to tell people what to do. Affiliative behavior, if it is high, is a strong need to be towards people. On the low end, directive behavior, we prefer to ask what to do. On the low end of affiliative behavior, we prefer to get things done rather than to be with people. And when we put those behaviors together, we ended up with four styles of behavior or four types of behavior. And we refer to those as S, E, L, and F. And every one of those types has its own motivation. Every one of those types has its own drive for success, if you will. To the people on the top of the chart, their behavior is often expressed in a more aggressive fashion, and that's going to be important when we try to understand difficult behavior. People in the bottom part of the chart have a tendency to be more passive, and that also will be very important to understanding difficult behavior. We take these four types of behavior and we notice how each one expresses their anger or their motivation differently. We suggested that E's have a strong need to win, and if they don't win, they come at you directly. It's as if they unleash their anger right at you. Now, there are other people such as the S's that express their anger by exploding. Okay, it's not as well directed as the E's anger. We don't quite know what they're upset about. We just know they're upset. Now we have the L type people and they take their anger and they try to suppress it because they need you to love them. And then lastly, we have our friends, the F types. They have a high need to be right. And in order to prove that they're right, they'll go over and over and over an issue until you get it. Now, you may not like that behavior but I'm going to suggest to you that that is normal behavior. That is the way people are. And if we are willing to do what is called accommodate, and that is deal with what it is the other person needs, if someone has a high need for respect, try to give them respect. If someone has a high need to get something done, let's work on the task, and then we'll worry about the relationship a little later on. You know, people give us clues about accommodating all the time.